There you are. What's up, Flame City family? DJ D. Slav in the house. Bobby in the house. Rose, Kara, Art in the house. I'm about to make dinner. Kind of a last second live stream. Uh, but we're going to make a fantastic recipe. I haven't started anything because I waited till we got on together so we can do it from start to finish. It's pretty easy, right? We are, Art and I were at Costco today and um, Big Lots. We did a really cool budget discount haul at Big Lots. And I got some uh, grass-fed uh, Australian lamb chops. I think I'm going to boil some red lentil pasta and make a semi-homemade sauce. And then I bought some beautiful butter lettuce at Costco. And we'll make, I got a butcher box out here. <laughs> and uh, we'll do a little salad. And Desti, what are you working on the side? Zucchini cake. Zucchini cake. Yeah. For Roasty or for us? For everyone. No, for everyone. Yeah. Roasty's like, what? Swan says zucchini. Maddie Chopsky's in Wyoming and Montana this week. Uh, nice. <laughs> That sounds great. Is that for a work or pleasure, Maddie? I want to go to Montana. That's it looks beautiful. It looks fun. It looks yeah. like big country out there. Big sky country. That's right. And I watched the show um, Yellowstone. It looks great. Um, so let's get going. Leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Rose Honey's in the house. Or if you um, would say, where in the world where, are you watching us from? <laughs> hey, thank you. Uh, I'm wearing one of the Flave City t-shirts today. Art, right, why don't you say I hi think, and show the shirt you're wearing? That thing looks familiar. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. Viviana. We're Oops. twinning again. I did it again. What's uh, the movie that Viviana has to parody next, you said? Not a movie, a TV show from uh, <laughs> back in the TGIF days, Perfect Strangers. Yes. Balky Bartakamus and Larry Appleton. Yes. Get out of the city. <laughs> Viviana, we want to see a Perfect Stranger uh, Instagram so next. The world looks perfect. <laughs> you guys remember that show? Based in Chicago. Everything can be rearranged. Where was Balky from? Do you remember? Meepos. <laughs> Meepos. That's awesome. Some fictitious Balkan city. That's awesome. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, Viviana says done. Nice, Vivi. <laughs> I knew you were on it. Lou H. Watching from Area 51 as nice. usual. Say hi to the aliens for Blast us. Blastonberry's in the house already, I saw. So, guys, notice how this um, rack of lamb comes. It comes in a cryovac seal. And it actually wet aged while it's shipped from uh, Australia. I so actually heard once that we have it better off here <laughs> than they do there. I believe I've heard that too. It's actually wet aged while it ships from Australia here. And it's 100% grass fed. And it's the best deal. What is this? You're never going to find lamb, you guys, for $9.99 a pound. I see this at Whole Foods, y'all, for $22 a pound. The same stuff, uh, either Aussie or New Zealand. This stuff is the best. And... Um, I just love doing the it. Best the, the best, best. I like to have it a few times a month. It's great for protein and iron. And uh, we're gonna do uh, the individual chop method and serve it with a little bit of a uh, little bit of pasta and all that good stuff. Oh, my cutting board's been taken over. It looks like it's okay. Oh, oh, Rose, huh? You can, can stay there. No, oh, there's plenty of room. Huh? There's a rump roast. Are we having rump roast for dinner? <laughs> uh, is that a rump roast? Yeah. I touch oh, with my. Do you think Lamus has some uh, deal? Um, the neighbor, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not going to be enough. You need so much probably, right? It's worth. It's worth asking. There's some Yes, sell by September 26th. So I'm just going to cut these into individual chops. Yes, sure. And then we'll cook them in a really hot cast iron pan. I've done this before with y'all. It's just the most approachable way to cook lamb chops. So just... Take your knife down here. Towards the bottom is a bone. It's called the chime bone. Very See, pronounced uh, lamb essence today. Yes. I can really smell the lamb. It's almost funky from the age. It smells very lamby. Yes. I think it's because it was in the cryovac for weeks and weeks. That's why. Once it airs out, you got to let it breathe. Right? You got to let it breathe. <laughs> Once it breathes, it's good to go. Marcotte's done with a lot of Southwest work today. Nice, Marcotte. I'll be on Southwest a week from tomorrow. Going down to FLL. Visit some friends, maybe look at some property. Pretty Yeah. That, this is beautiful. All right, to get close up, this is just beautiful red meat that's loaded with iron and minerals and comes from the roaming hills of Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oi, vey. Is Daya brand the best vegan cheese? Um, for me, the best vegan cheese is uh, Violife. Uh, Daya is not bad. I just like Violife, and the ingredients are maybe a smidgen cleaner these are big so deborah l just opened herself up to interrogation here she uh -oh. didn't pose a question uh -oh. but she's going to be interrogated she says i'll pass okay. uh, which makes me wonder 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Carol, show Carol for a second. She's going all the way to the store to pick up Dill for Desi. Many things I. Oh. Many talents. Oh, she has so many talents. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else? I'm good to go. Oh, okay. Because Desi's making the um, zucchini cakes, and she said Dill is necessary. They were sold out at Whole Foods <laughs> yesterday. So Kara's going. Uh, what are you saying, Arthur? De Deborah L. Well, Sorry, the spotlight yes. has been turned oh. off of you now. She said, "I like Vio Life." I was thinking that when you said, "I'll pass," that maybe you're one of the yeah. Bobby. What percentage of people have never tried lamb? Ah, that's where I thought you were going to go with that. Forty percent of people it's, have never tried lamb. Yes. I thought Deborah might be one of them, but she was talking about the vegan Let's do a stuff. quick poll. Raise your hand if you've never tried lamb. It boggles my mind that forty percent of people haven't. I think you're missing out. I think you maybe have uh, had a bad experience or heard about a bad experience or think it's gamey. Lamb chops are the the entry gateway into that. Uh, Milwaukee Brewer says, see ya in a bit, Kara with a C. <laughs> if, if Kara ever needs a chaperone, Milwaukee Brewer would take her to the uh, to the grocery store. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wash my paws. I will do that. All right, All right thank you, Kara. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Kara's so great with Rose. She helps me do the dishes. She actually does the dishes for me. What does so nice. Bobby think about Irish sea moss as a supplement? Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Actually, let me show you. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's not like carrageenan, which is derived from seaweed. This is really good stuff. And I have these blender bombs that I put in my smoothies with, look at that art, Irish. When Irish eyes are smiling, they give you a moss in your protein smoothie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what you ate. Yeah, I saw what you ate today, but it doesn't make any saw. sense. Yeah, I had a paleo salad bowl from Chipotle because Art and I went to Big Lots. We went to like 4800 West Diversity, Diversity in Chicago. Diversity? <laughs> yeah. And we went to Big Lots, which had some awesome bargain basement prices on some really good Bobby approved stuff. Other stuff was hit or miss. And some stuff actually wasn't that cheap at all. Um, so it's really hit or miss there, but we got some good hits. Faux show. Ah. She is pescatarian, so she doesn't do the lamb. So. Oh, okay. That, that's... She was talking via life, Here. but she doesn't do the lamb either. So, so everyone good. keep checking in down below. Say hi to DJ D. Slav from the BG with love. <coughs> Roasty, what is the show, Roasty? You stepping a little Arctic char snack? If you didn't see my Instagram story from last night, Arctic char is available at most Whole Foods. It's a beautiful mix between salmon and like trout. It is so oily and delicious. Roasty loves it. We love it. And you're going to love it too. You're going to like the way you look. Viviana, I'm going to give you a chance to retract your message because I'm going to read it and Bobby's opinion of you is going to go way down. Uh -oh. okay. no, I'm going to read it fast. Uh -oh. it. She said, okay, maybe I just haven't had lamb the right way, but to me, lamb tastes like steak marinated in dish soap. Wow, Vivi. <laughs> well, Vivi, you're a Limerita fan, so one might say that your uh, taste buds are corrupted already. Dee but... Brown's in the house. Sorry, I'm Dee late Brown, for dinner, I'm but I'm here. Although Viviana did email me a homemade Bobby approved uh, Lime Arita recipe. I think Let you're going to do it on the uh, live stream someday. Check this out. Let me find Viviana's email. Hold on a second. But she's not ruling Viviana. out lamb. Just has to have it in the right way. I would agree with that. Let me try to find Viviana's email here. Here we go. Check this out. So this is the Bobby approved Lime Arita recipe. Alan so, what's going on? This is the, the crappy one here from uh, Viviana that everyone knows. And here's her homemade one with simple syrup limeade made with monk fruit sweetener, water, lime juice. Really good Casa Amigos uh, Repasado, it looks like, or Añejo, and Michelob Ultra Organic Pure Gold. We got to try that one day with some Mexican food. That looks delicioso. All right. Right. Isn't that cool, Viviana did that? Thank you, baby. Okay, I'm just going to leave this to the side. We'll take them outside, and we'll uh, cook them later on. Let's throw a pot on. Can I get the big pot for the pasta, babe? I want to make some red lentil pasta with my go-to, yeah, my go-to like store-bought sauce, which is Fitty Fitty Rayos and um, Dairy Free Alfredo. Now, Art, did you see that video uh, Desi sent you on yeah. Facebook? So even though it technically is pronounced Rao, like Art says, it's called Rayo. So I'm actually- They're, they're, they're Americanizing yes. the name. But the end result is, I was right, you were wrong. <laughs> it depends who you ask. I asked the brand Rayos. Yeah, but Italian people have said it's pronounced Rao. That is true. But it's way more fun also to say Rayos as opposed to Raos. I want to say it the way I just want to say it. No, you can do whatever you want. You be you are. Of course are. I can. But I much prefer to say Rayo. <laughs> Alan, girl, well, you just, I think you had an LOL. And then as I was like screaming, screaming through everything, I'm like, aha, I think I missed one. 
Welcome. So for the pasta, we have a few different options. Let's come over here, Arthur T. Uh, what do you guys want to see? Should we do a box of, we don't have too much of that. We got organic red lento rotini. Uh, we got some chickpea shells that I used to make the five ingredient uh, mac and cheese with cauliflower sauce. I should have said ha. Huh. Oh, you know what we can do? This company now makes the cassava one. We can do that. Let me see if I have any, uh, this, okay, this is really interesting. So, so jovial. jovial. It's so jovial. They make this cassava spaghetti, not cassava starch, whole cassava root flour with water. I think I'll do this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we have, they have uh, hard, hard, enough hard. of, yeah. I don't think we have, oh, hold on, I might have a box. Uh, there we go, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold the front door, y'all. I got a box of Thrive Market. Don't be feel silly, Jerry. Right, you're silly. Piwa. Let's do that. Let's do this and that you're and combine comedian. them together. Uh, we'll do these two. This is the best. Tolerant. It's like this dude here. Brielle prefers my pronunciation. Oh, Brielle. Team Art. The reason why I like these is because it's gluten-free, but it's made with a whole bean. Lentil. Lentil. Uh, quinoa. No starches. No bull crap. That's real good stuff. That should be on the box. No starches. No bull crap. Milwaukee Brewer says, Anglo pronunciations are pretty common. They're generally okay until you pronounce the LL in tortilla like huh. the L in lemon. I do that as a tortilla. joke. Tortilla. Tortilla. The Tor fuck? Tortilla the Hun. There's a shirt. <laughs> tortilla the, yeah, we do that as a joke. Tortilla the Hun. Tortilla. Oh, oh, interesting. Tortilla the, not a bad one. Although someone would probably find something offensive with that, who knows? <laughs> right? How about we need a keto recipe for pumpkin coffee? It's pumpkin season. Did you get, Millie, the pumpkin spice layered superfood creamer when it, before it sold out? Because so many people bought that, but I feel you, girl. Now, let's make a little salad uh, with a jovial icorn flour be Bobby approved. I've never seen that, but icorn organic is. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Rose, have you said hi to everyone? Hello. Hello, everyone. I got a snack. You just had grapes and yogurt and Arctic char. So I was saying, Art and I went to Big Lots. Have you been to Big Lots, right? 4800 West Diversity. And we got some good stuff there. We made a cool video coming out Sunday. Um, and then afterwards, we went to Costco. I got the lamb chops. I got this beautiful organic living lettuce. What is living lettuce? It's alive. Oh, OMG. Oh. Rachel Murray, $100. Oh Hi, God. family. Glad you decided to Thank pop you, on Rachie. today. Purchased the Wagyu Steak Lovers and the Pasture Raised Chicken Ooh. from Drive Market this morning. Sharing the OT love, Mad Love family, making lamb kebabs. Ah, amazing. Holy Thank you, Rachel. You're so, Thank Jenny you. Rosso, all the way from Southern California. Uh, the Pasture Raised. Let me know how that chicken is. I didn't know they have Wagyu Steak there. That sounds great. Kurt Radley says, hey, Art, congratulations on the Cubby No Hitter. Yeah, I had a lot to do with that. So <laughs> thanks for uh, appreciating that was pretty exciting. <laughs> no, that was exciting stuff. <laughs> right? Fantastico. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, totally, Alan, girl. I agree. So this is living lettuce. It still has the root, our art would say. Roots? I was going to say root. Oh, I've got it. No, no, I didn't know which way you were going with that. <laughs> I thought that or root. If I always say root, it's to the song, I've got no roots. I first said root. I've never heard that, actually. I love that. Now, can any Costco shoppers out there tell me, I could have swore that used to be a three-pack. Now it's a two-pack for $5. Do we know what the dealio is? But here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the base off. But the fact that it's still attached to the root tells me that there's still living nutrients going to it. Throw that in the ground, grow your own. I suppose you could. I don't know. And this is kind of lettuce I don't even need to wash. Because I believe it's hydroponically grown, and I don't see any visible. Alan Girl says, hello, fierce Maggie B. <laughs> no, I don't fierce. see any visible dirt here. Oh, yeah, Chicago Bears won and 49ers lost, says Maritza Gonzalez. <laughs> okay, uh, Arifa says it's always been a two-pack. Love to see that. Oh, your Costco doesn't even have this lettuce. How about that? Uh, Karenna Bar, if you have to choose between price, perfect keto collagen, and the blue one, Oh, the blue one. The blue one at Costco. You don't need the perfect keto one. That's bogus. Just take collagen peptides. The Costco Vital Proteins Collagen is on sale right now for $8 off. It's the best deal in the universe. It goes until September 27th. Get it. 
Renee Denham says it's a three pack at her Costco. Oh, see, interesting. And it's a three pack, but isn't it Renee like around the same price, five bucks? So Renee lives in Pennsylvania, right, Renee? Renee has a big box outlet and a grocery outlet close to her. Let me do that for you. Nice. And big box outlet gets leftovers or runovers from Costco for severe markdowns. And grocery outlet just gets these random Bobby approved items for pennies on the dollar. I'm actually thinking about moving to Renee's neighborhood just to be a part of that. I see the stuff you guys get, it's crazy. Does anyone else have a grocery outlet or a big box outlet close to you? Because it just looks amazing. The inventor of the kale stripping hack on the Ryan Dope, Michigan. Annette F. got the Thrive Market organic bee with pink salt and it is fantastic. No, it is good. I have it right here, Annette, that's great. Always use thrivemarket.com slash Bobby. This is very good pink salt. I See still Maddie, prefer though, on. on that. It actually, the uh, Celtic sea salt, See, even though it's like white, it. it's still unrefined. Celtic salt actually has more minerals than Himalayan pink salt. Uh, what else do I have here? I have a, a tea out here. Where's the tea, babe? I just had it out there. Did you oh, know? Oh. Bobby, will you say happy 63rd birthday to me? You will make my day. This well, is Melody Code. Of course I will, Melody. Happy 63rd happy birthday. 63. That sounds great. My dad, Johnny P, had his 90th birthday this weekend. It's very exciting. Um, I put the pre-sale list for the tea in the description box down below. Uh, we're finalizing packaging now. It should be ready mid-October. Check it out, Art. Right here is the pre-sale list to get notified as soon as we go live, right there. Click on this form right here, it takes you to the pre-sale list, and you can put your email on there and also tell you, uh, tell me what other products you wanna see me make. And then my Amazon shop page is here that has all of my kitchen gear, my ceramic pans, my cast iron pans, my cookbooks, all that great stuff. Just got a $5 super chat from Candace V. Hey, Candace! What is xanthan gum and what is it used for? It's a common emulsifier and it's totally fine. You don't have to worry about that one, Candace. Thank you so much. So the tea is the powdered shelf stable for, uh, form of my immune boosting tea on the blog. It has organic turmeric, ginger, MCT oil powder, uh, lemon peel powder, lemon juice powder, uh, turmeric, I said already, uh, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and monk fruit. Zero glycemic, keto, vegan, anti-inflammatory, immune boosting. It's what gonna be is lovely. lupin flour? So lupin flour is actually a low carb bean flour that I haven't got a chance to even cook with yet, but it looks very legit. How legit though? I'd say too legit. Too legit to quit. Hi, hi. Well said, Art. Thank you. So we got our living lettuce there. Let's add a little something, something to it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I love you guys. This company, they make the pumpkin seeds at Costco, the raw sprouted. Uh, this is just a mix of raw sprouted watermelon seeds and other stuff. What happens when you soak or sprout seeds like this, you activate nutrients and enzymes that your body wouldn't be able to absorb otherwise, and you break down any lectins. This stuff, here's a great health benefit of this, especially for the winter. These kind of seeds and nuts are loaded with manganese. Oh, look at this magnesium and zinc. Zinc is so good, 20% of your daily value in a quarter cup to make you sleep, and magnesium is really good for sleep, and zinc is good for uh, colds and immune system. This stuff is amazing. Get the big bag of sprouted pumpkin seeds at Costco. Desi, uh, Kelly from Canada would like to know if she can make creme brulee with coconut milk. For sure, absolutely. For sure, absolutely. <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. Uh, what about the book? To thicken it, so coconut, yeah, you can you can do it, and if you want to make it a little thick, you can add a little bit of. Might want to go stand next yeah, to her. Yeah, so. but I don't think you need that for creme brulee. Well, Jesse has the uh, blueberry panna cotta, which is very close to creme brulee, and the new coming cookbook. And uh, someone said about the um, the ebook, you can't pre-order the ebook yet. You could only pre-order the physical book by searching Flav City on Amazon. We got a super chat from Julie Kowalis. A thumbs up pair giving you a two ninety nine. Julie, I saw that. Thank you so much. Jesse, when do you think the uh, Flav City t-shirts are going to be ready? Uh, uh, early October. Early October? Yeah. All right. Early October. So let's see what's coming out this fall. October t-shirt. The oh, app. Okay. I got you. I got you. October. Bobby approved app. Barcode scanner. Scan anything in the grocery store. The book, December 1st. The tea, October 15th. 
It's going to be the fourth quarter from heaven. It must be heaven. Right? Alan Girl says, Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Megan B is feeling really bad that Rosie is uh, upset. Rose wakes up pretty grumpy from her afternoon nap. So it's, it's kind of the norm. Let's how see much, my sauces here. How much is the app? The app is going to be a subscription, $4.99 a month, or $50 per year. And the app is going to have the barcode scanner and all the information from every video we ever made in the app to make you the best shopper you could be. All right, let's use a little bit of, look at this. Victoria, I finally got that one. A little bit of Victoria, a little bit of, these are the sauces I'm gonna use, Arthur. Check it out. Check it out, our pasta sauce brother. So this is good, it's not quite as good as Rayo's. All right. And then Alfredo. Okay, okay, I'm coming, let's go. Let's go. So Art and I were at Sam's Shelly Club. The other day filming a video. Timing the, here, but I think you got Come out, uh, this weekend, hold on, let me grab something from here. Uh, June Nakata just gave you $9.99 and wants to know what we think about sprouted rice. Ooh. Yes, June, I'm in my secondary pantry. Uh, yes, sprouted rice, brown rice, or wild rice or red rice is great because when you sprout it, you remove any anti-nutrients and you activate more nutrients and enzymes for your body. So yes, activated brown rice, Wild rice, fantastic stuff. And you Millie, can it's a shopping app. It's an app to help you when you're shopping, see if something's Bobby approved or not. Yes. Uh, I don't see any more of that uh, Alfredo Barcode sauce. scanner. Maybe it's somewhere else. Carol's not a fan of Victoria. Too much salt and it's bitter. Oh, let's see. Let me take another taste. So Art and I were at Sam's Club and they have a 22-ounce uh, two-pack of... Uh, Rao. Rao, Rao's. And uh, it's slightly more expensive than Costco, but Art thought of something today that was interesting, right, Art? Um, yeah, but I was reading something from here. Kelly from Canada, when is Desi going to wear one of the T-shirts? Represent for the girls. Yeah, Des. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I was already wearing the sweatshirt the other day, but we're making some adjustments to the colors. So the next batch we get later on this month, I'll wear them. Yeah, I'm for Very sure. cute for girls. Like open neck, kind of short. And then we're gonna have some tank tops. Mm -hmm. Sweatshirts. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, this one says, I wanna to subscribe to the app. How do I do it? Subscribe for what? The app. Oh, the app. Just wait. Uh, it's not out yet. It will be out sometime mid October. Oh, Kara has a question. Maybe. Kara's live at the grocery store. Is one okay of this? Is yeah. it? I'm gonna ask her if they have the bulk section. Do they have a two. bunch, bunch of dill? Yeah, Milwaukee Brewer. Do they have one bunch of dill? Question mark. Five dollars super chat. Set on bulk in English. Hold, hold on. Oh, these are like the biggest ripoff. Look what Kara's. Doesn't matter. I need it. Do they have the bunch of dill? Question mark. I think that's the only thing they have. Dale, what is this? See, this is. I hate buying these, but we're gonna do these little clam shells. I'll bet this is like three bucks for this little dinky thing here. What are we going to do? Very possibly so. If not, comma, two of those would be great. Brewer, I got you. Let me read it in a second. Milwaukee Brewer just gave me $5 and asks, will the app be useful if I'm grocery shopping from home? Um, well, yeah, as long as, yes. Number one, you can scan barcodes, but number two, in case you want to know best in class, bread, dairy, snacks, all of that information. Let me show you. So here, on your iPhone, it's going to look like this. All right, you'll have it on your home screen. Bobby approved right there. You click on that. Okay. So now, there's like five shirts. At, on the home screen like this, which it's still in beta mode and everything, browse by aisle, right? And it'll let you browse by bread, dairy, all that stuff. Don't pay, pay attention to this. It's still, you know, in beta. But you can learn everything you have to know about any section of the grocery store. Um, so you become a really good shopper. And then the barcode scanner. This is the cool thing, right? So Kara got two. You can scan any barcode at the store. Be like, oh, is this water Bobby approved? It'll search, and then this one obviously is not in there yet, but it'll come up as yes or no and why. It'll have all the information there, what ingredient isn't Bobby approved, and give you other recommendations, and it will eventually have all of the items from the grocery store. So you're like, oh, I wonder if this sauce is Bobby approved. Scan the barcode. This one should be, because I think Primal might be in the database. Oh, no, under review. So this is still beginning, but you get... 
One of the pantry ones? What do you mean? Yeah, the primal. Danielle oh. wants to know if the app will be available for Android. Of course. Of course. Well, you, you guys get the idea. That's what it's going to be. It doesn't work right now because it's literally beta, but the database of all the stuff in the store will be there. It's in WIP right now. Yeah, this is not as good as uh, Rails. I agree 100%. Out there. Not quite as good. Okay, water's boiling. Let's just put the pasta in. Now, I find with red lentil pasta, you have to boil it Wild longer car. than the box says, and you have to salt it pretty aggressively. Sarah, the shirt says, grass-fed, pasture-raised, and wild-caught. Yes, this is one of a few. I think I'm pretty happy with the t-shirts, and they're very high quality. They're made in the USA, and they're, they're great for Flav City fans, but even for people who just like food and punny stuff, I didn't want to make a shirt that just said Flav City. I want it to be for everyone. Shelly right? Hunter with Shelley. a ten dollar super chat. I love the quinoa breakfast bowl and purely oh. Elizabeth. What fruit do you use when berries are out of season? Are apples okay since they're coming in season, or is that too sweet? No, apples are are great frozen. Buy frozen fruit and defrost it because you don't care about the fresh crunch or fresh flavor. Get some organic frozen berries, defrost them, put them in there. Costco sells a big bag of wild uh, blueberries. They're great. Uh, super chat. I apologize if I get this wrong, but Paricher Ferrodi, four ninety nine. Super chat. So thank wow, you what kind of name much. is that? Thank you. Where's that from? That's right. Michael Jordan says, "Will I be able to scan hot Cheetos on the app?" Yes, it will. And then a hand will come out of the app and slap you in the face. Really or it'll have a big that. caricature picture of art. Uh, Kelly Weinstein, four ninety nine. We need a Rose Flave City T-shirt for the ladies too. Using her sweet nicknames as always. Love everything all you do. That's a grand idea. I like that idea a lot. So now, it says in the box here that it's going to boil for da, 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 hey, da, Maggie six beef. to eight minutes. No, it's going to take more like 12 minutes. Trust me. Maggie, if you scan cheese balls, it'll say talk to Art. Yeah, that's right. It might say Art approved, actually. So yeah, but the barcode scanner is huge. But I think the information is even bigger. So. You don't want to, I don't want to make an app where it's like, oh, just scan things and find out if I say it's good or bad. I want you to learn. So you become the shopper. So to have all the information in there about every aisle in the grocery store will make you, just like me, a master grocery shopper. So you know exactly what to do and you won't have to be like, oh, does Bobby like it? I know he doesn't like it because I know how to shop now and I can <clears> back <throat> it up with the scan. Will there be a free version of the app? Uh, it's a seven day free trial. Absolutely. And then after that, it's $4.99 a month or $49.99 a year. Um, so try it out, and if you don't, I think you're gonna love it. And I think the, the goal is to make you guys love it, and then to have mass market appeal, so anyone who's interested in healthy grocery shopping and knowing they're buying the best thing for their family and for them, that's what it's for. Sahar says, Bobby, can you say happy birthday to my cousin George, and he loves lamb chops, thank you so much. Happy birthday, Georgie Porgy. This dinner's for you, right? The lamb chops are gonna make them super crusty. A little bit of pasta wow. on the side and salad. That's a great dinner. It's not keto wow. or paleo because of the, uh, the pasta, but it sure is good. Oh, so Paricher Farodi is from Iran, lives in Texas, and yes, I pronounce his name very good. Wow, impressive. Oh, sorry. I, I actually hear that uh, Iranian food is really good. Really good. Are you male or female? I just said he. I don't know your name, but I'm happy I pronounced it correctly. Yeah. Um, by the way, did anyone see those burritos we made uh, the other day on uh, Instagram stories? We're going to do it again on live, and I'm going to redeem myself from that time we made burritos last time. These were incredible, and then I griddled them, then put cheddar cheese in the pan, and put the burrito back in there, and it stuck to the crust. Desi and I, and Paul, who was over, went gaga. Will the app be on the App Store in Canada? Uh, De Desi, will it be on the App Store in Canada? I assume so, right? Or is it just U.S.? Uh I, I, I hope it's everywhere. Um, we always try to hook up my Canadian friends, which is why I'm going to make sure uh, the tea ships to Canada, and I hope the t-shirts ship to Canada, too. Lisa Kurtz wants to know, cold-pressed or expeller-pressed oil? Uh, cold-pressed is preferable, but some expeller-pressed is okay. Like, for example, the avocado oil from Costco is expeller-pressed in a good way, but then you can also get virgin avocado oil, too, that you wouldn't want to cook with. So, like, a duo is Iranian as well. Many Persian fans do you have, Bobby? Oh, I, I, we love Persian food. So this is virgin, but it still is technically expeller pressed. You just don't want to get expeller pressed like sunflower and safflower oil because those are crappy. Speaking of oil, look at this, you guys. Milwaukee Brewer wants to know if you're going to try to redeem yourself from the time you attempted to make a cookie on the grill. 
Uh, no, I'm not going to do grill cookie anymore. I found some amazing single estate Spanish olive oil. And the price point is so attractive. This bottle is like $10 or $12. I'm going to talk to them about doing collaboration. This could easily be a $30 bottle. It's so robust and flavorful, made from olives from one estate. And look what it says right here, Art. It's cold pressed six hours after harvest. That's the freshest oil ever. I'm going to do a video later this week that'll probably come out this weekend or uh, next week. The scams and frauds in extra virgin olive oil. 90% of the stuff on the market is not extra virgin. <clears throat> it's cut with soybean oil and it's made from hey, old, moldy, you. really bad olives. This is got the freshest stuff possible. I'm so excited for this because well, Spain my, has great olive oil. My apologies, wow. Pari Chair. I, I should have said, she said that I pronounced her name correctly. So happy to hear I was right. Shaheen is in the house. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Shahini Brand is from, from Dubai. Uh, I'm just going to throw this kale in here because I have it. Oh. Roasty took a little tumble. A little tumby. I thought that one didn't work. I'm going to redeem myself right here. So I'm going to get out of kale. Oh, there we go. Watch this. You take your, your tongs like this, and it strips right off of the stem like that. Do you ever use zafaran? Uh, saffron? Zafaran. Uh, spelled it with a Z. Is that the same thing? I don't know. I, mean, I do use saffron, and I love it. And then Sherry, I'm one of your Persian fans, too. They're making Bobby-approved Persian food. Yeah. So, you know what's a great thing Thank for you. Persian? Like subbing couscous for uh, cauliflower rice. That's like a great way. But I love Persian flavors because I love spices, and I love bold flavors. Is she okay? Oh, yeah, saffron. Yeah. she okay? Yeah. So saffron. Show, actually, let me show you for my... Uh, Oh, Rostina, let me show you something I have from my Iranian fans out there. This is two grams of Iranian saffron that I got in uh, a spice market in Istanbul. Oh. It's so darn good. I usually use it for teas and for cooking. Oh, yeah, this is the real deal. That's fantastic, beautiful, top-notch Iranian saffron. Really good stuff. It smells lovely. Rose is not happy. Well, nah, she took a tumble. She just gets really grumpy when she uh, wakes up from her afternoon nap. Grumpasaurus Rex. Shaheen says, saffron's so expensive, but so worth it. It is. Well, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need that much. Well, Too much like saffron Chandra is gross, Pumchu. actually. Say again? Chandra Pumchu. Hello, Art. Hope you guys are doing well. What up? We are doing grand. How are you? Now, I don't feel like going outside to cook the uh, <laughs> lamb chops, but I know it's going to smell like... So oily in here and so nasty. Sarah says, my toddler is fake crying to copy Rose. Oh my God, that is hilarious. We keep hearing that actually. That's really funny that uh, other toddies, uh, I guess we should really go outside. It's gonna be a mess in here and smell. Yeah. I'm gonna start preheating my cast iron pan though. Hey guys, I have a question for you. Let's see here, hold on a second. Or I can use this pan. I'll use a cast iron pan. Do the carbon steel. Carbon? Should I do this one? Okay. Uh, why not? We'll do it. Let's get why that thing not? look like it's been in a restaurant or something. Yeah, that's, why not? I'm going to start pre So I have a question for you guys. If I were going to have like a Flav City kitchen product, what would you like to see? Someone just mentioned the thing to me and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I can't really think of something that needs to be on the market out there. So what is something like you'd like to see? There's so many pots and pans out there. I just can't think of anything off the top of my head where it's like, oh, wow, there's a need in the market for that. Kale stripper. Kale, a kale stripper. Bobby approved tongs with the kale stripping two in one. Well, that's an interesting idea, actually. Tongs that really have a grip it and rip it for, and once they don't break. Yeah, ones that like the spring doesn't pop through the little hole where the rubber right. hand thing is, like the pepper mill. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Drip, coffee I'm maker, knives, there. glass, flat top oven, cannot use cast iron. Well, you got to go to my Amazon shop page and get my portable gas burner for that. Also, El Siete says a microplaner that can't scrape fingers. I don't know if that's possible. Is I don't it? know either. Kitchen Carbon tools. steel pan. Hard to find. <laughs> that's not hard to find. Just go no. on. Get the MOT for one. M-A-T-F-E-R. Once again, come here, Art. 
I have. Is that on your No, store? I, I got it. Okay. Let's add it right now because I really Mont like for it. Mott for So here's what we're going to do, y'all. Oops, sorry for the mic noise. We're going to go here. I'm going to add the Mott for right here. So, so let's see. Mott for. There it is. It's a $54 pan. It's beautiful. Look at the ratings. They're off the charts. If you want a pan that will get naturally nonstick and so beautiful at searing food, I'm going to add this to my influencer list. There we go. It's on there now. And then let's go to Amazon.com. Shaheen, we're doing lamb. Lamb chops. Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City has everything you want. So I don't want that as number one there. I'm going to pull it right. The most important thing you should get. Yeah, it's not quite the most important the thing. The most. I'm going to put it right here. I don't know why I'm talking about And that. I'll say like, uh, what I love this. Love this carbon steel tan for Amazon or Kara or UPS be. or Kara. Just filling in the blanks with everything to cover my bases. <laughs> A shrimp pooper scooper. That's all <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. High heat cooking. Kara's back. Thank you, Kara. Hello. High heat cooking, and it's naturally. Live stream of Bobby adding Non-stick. products to an Amazon shop page. 884 people Let's tuned this. in. Love this carbon for high cooking. I, I got to do a caveat here. There's a caveat, but it's yeah, very Milwaukee high Brewer. The, the Motfer is uh, a better one than the Lodge. Is. Cooks Illustrated made this their number one pick. Yeah, it's just it's high maintenance. If you really want to get a nice one, they got one that performs equally well, but it's going to cost you like an extra two hundred dollars and a waiting list. And down here, click on that link for Amazon shop page and the uh, the link to sign up for the uh, tea. Yeah, there's a waiting list for the other one, which I'm not going to do that, but and like two hundred some bucks. Let's see how that for the same performance. Yeah, I mean, after every time you cook with it, you'll see. I don't know if we'll do it tonight on live stream, but you have to clean it out without soap. Then you have to put a little bit of oil in there, rub it around, cook it over medium-ish heat until it starts to smoke, cook it for two minutes, then let it cool and wipe it out again. So it is high maintenance, but it's an amazing pan and it becomes naturally non-stick, but without using any ceramic or Teflon, so you can get the pan blazing hot. Shot. What are your down in a blaze of glory? What are your thoughts on CBD oil? Not for me, but I hear very good things about it. I know uh, my homie Stangman likes it. Just all things like marijuana, cannabis. It just doesn't resonate with me. It's not for me. Uh, super chat from CC Carry, five dollars. Fry wall is a must-have for frying inside the house. Um, I actually have a fry wall. But I don't like the idea of putting silicone. Actually, you know what? I think I threw it away. What the heck it's is like a the, fry wall? It's like the silicone ring you'd put inside a pan, and it makes a wall. So the oil, instead That's of cool. putting a splatter guard, I prefer a splatter guard. I don't like the idea of putting silicone in a pan like that. Not for me. But it, it does work. I will tell you that. I've used it. How often do you use the thermal mix? Is it worth the money? So I use it primarily as a blender, and they gave it to me for free. And I love to cook with pots and pans. If you're a novice cook and you don't like the idea of using an oven, pots and pans, it's great because you can cook in there. For me, I like it just as a blender, so I probably wouldn't get it for myself. But if you want to cook and shop in there, it's for you. But I love the fact the blade comes out so easily. And um, it's a pleasure to use. Lisa Kurtz wants to know if you're having Rosh Hashanah dinner on Saturday. Um... I don't know. We normally go to my cousin's house, which we're not going to go this year because she doesn't want to host. Maybe, maybe, on, maybe on Friday night we should do a, a Rosh Hashanah live stream. Live stream. But what's the typical grub for Rosh Hashanah? Is that like a brisket? So I'm not going to make a unless Art wants to smoke it like, overnight. I feel like apples and honey. Yeah, apples and honey for a sweet New Year, but uh, harosis. What's the main dish for? Uh, I could do brisket if we want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be good, actually. I'm looking to do another one, but not this soon. Let's see. Brisket, mashed potatoes, and matzo ball soup. Mm. I should get away with the whole food. Just... Yeah, I figured, yeah. What else would you got? I should have Mariana. Nah, Mariana stinks. I want that place. Hey, uh, I like that place. Susie Crudeur, $4.99. Susie! Today, slow-cooked half-Costco lamb leg. 
with garlic, nice, rosemary, Suze. and preserved lemons. Add new potatoes and honey glazed carrots. Can't wait for the app. That sounds lovely. And another super chat, AW399. What about Rao's pasta, durum wheat semolina? No, because it's not organic. And I don't like simple starch pasta. If you're gonna eat wheat pasta, it has to be organic and whole wheat. I'm telling you, you still don't want wheat in your body. Wheat and gluten is an inflammatory agent. Just go for complex carbohydrate, gluten-free options like red lentil. Stacy Schuler says brisket, turkey, yeah. apples and honey, charoset is Passover, Haroset, mashed I love potatoes, it. kugel, matzo ball, matzo ball soup. Uh, Jenny, yeah, the wonderful pistachios with just salt are fine. The flavored ones are not. Odessa needs the muscles here, yeah. huh? In the muscles. So if you're making any kind of cakes or uh, what's this called? Pancakes that has zucchini or cauliflower, you got to squeeze out. Can I do it yet or no? You got to squeeze out the water. So you put it in a tea towel like this. There's so much water in here that if you try to, are you going to bake these or fry them? I think fry. Yeah. If you try to fry them, they won't get super crispy, but if you wrap them up like a little baby, here, check this out, Art. Insane amounts of water. Look at that. Shaheen says hi, Desi. Hi, Shaheen. Also, I want to know where you got your uh, pashmina thing. From Loft. Loft. And Desi actually tried to use the Loft gift card that Ellen and Art got her, and it was closed. They closed down for business in, uh, in diversity in uh, Lakeview. Oh, no. That's so why she went online and did it. Uh, and then she went online, and she was about to place her order. She put in her gift card. And then it they, wiped my gift card. they wiped it off before she uh, hit purchase. So then she had to call customer service to get it back. Wow. It's kind of like, what's the deal with this? Wendy would like you to make some holiday dishes like matzo ball soup. I've never made matzo ball soup in my life. Crypto Morpheus, $2 goat milk cream cheese, question mark, plus Bobby approved Ooh. bagels. Um, Bobby approved bagels would be a sprouted. I forgot the name of the company, but there's a sprouted bagel that's good. And um, cream cheese I've never seen with goat milk before. Stacey, I do want to make potato pancakes this time. Stacy Schuler with a very interesting idea. You're going to like the way you look. Like <laughs> uh, okay, here you go, Bebo. We need, we need a Rosh Hashanah dinner live Thursday <sighs> night so that we can oh make it God. Friday. So we can make it Friday. <laughs> give, them, give them ideas. The thing is, I don't even know how to make matzo ball soup. I do know how to make really good sweet potato and potato pancakes, but that's more for Hanukkah, right? Uh, last time Milwaukee Brewer squeezed it, he ripped the towel. <laughs> Ooh, a nut, milk, a nut nut milk bag is a good idea. Yeah. I got lamb shank. What spice should I use? Use like a Middle Eastern or like a Persian spice rub with turmeric, smoked paprika, clove, cinnamon, cardamom, um, stuff like that. Fennel seeds. Well, kind really of like with brisket, stuff. you smear black pepper, smear fennel all over the lamb chops. The most expensive uh, That's right. lamb That's right. in the world. Yeah. Yes, my dad goes to church. My mom who passed away was Jewish. That's why I'm Jewish because my mom was. Very good question, Alan. Yeah, I talked about the bagels on the, my most recent healthy breakfast haul at Whole Foods. I talked about the bagel. It might be from Alvarado Street. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I got to drain this pasta. I think it's Stacy says, so easy. If I can make matzo ball soup, I can. Wait, if I can make matzo ball soup, I can. I can give you my very basic recipe and you can bobbyize it. Yeah, the thing is, matzo meal itself is not bobby approved because it's made with non-organic wheat flour. And I don't, there's really no way to make it with like, I wonder if you can make it dusty with like paleo flowers and stuff. Wouldn't yeah. be monster though. Yeah, it wouldn't be monster. It'd be very much good. Very, very good. Nice. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's great as pasta. Can you hold this uh, thing while I drain it? Jackie, Haddon Spiegel, Hive Wave City family. Just Jackie. joined Happy Tuesday. Is anybody having tacos today? It's Taco <laughs> Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. I want to make those burritos again that Desi and I made on Sunday. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, it looks good, right? Oh, Danny boy, the pod. <laughs> okay, shake it off a little bit. What do you guys know about macadamia nut flour? Is that Renee asking? Uh, that was Lala Girl. Oh, it's funny, at Lala, because uh, Renee sent me a picture of that from uh, Big Box Outlet. I don't know much about it. You can use it the same way you would probably almond flour. It's expensive, but Renee got one at uh, the grocery outlet or big box outlet. I want to go to those so bad. And that uh, looks fantastic. Lisa Kurtz wants you to make a filter fish. Oh, I actually like a filter, to be honest. I've never had a filter. Okay, so yeah, it's an acquired taste, as a Kramer so would I've say heard about uh, like Kreplock. Kreplock, yeah. 
Jewish I'm, Singles Night. Yeah, had Seinfeld, yeah. Over at the Knights of Columbus, <laughs> courtesy of uh, Frank Costanza. Make sure this is still good. I have a question for Bobby. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so I'm putting uh, dill and onions. Uh, should I put garlic in these pancakes or just for the garlic sauce? Uh, no, just for the sauce, garlic. What else should I put? Egg and... Yeah. Egg what? and maybe some... Uh, so use some uh, panko, uh, pork panko. Thank What's going on, Lala girl? Uh, or some uh, paleo, paleo, flour. paleo flour, maybe. Coffee Pot says, can you believe that LeBron James tried to trademark Taco Tuesday? Really? That's I never interesting. heard that. Wow. That just sounds silly. Don't stop. Keep going. Is that the Seinfeld reference, Alan girl? That sounds silly. I'm hot. So a little bit of the two sauces. Normally, I would like cook some onions and some garlic. Saute some kale, then add the uh, marinara sauce and the uh, the Alfredo sauce. I just want to be super lazy tonight. OJ Simpson tried to trademark OJ. <laughs> yeah, good, good luck with that one. That's at least what, he has some more. That's uh, what Milwaukee Brewer is saying. At least he's got more relevance to that than Taco Tuesday LeBron. Jeez. Yeah. That's weird. Lisa Kurt says that we're funny, and she says that I sound Jewish also. Thank you, Lisa. Art does a great Jew. He, <laughs> he says really good Yiddish words. Sometimes I'm like, wow. I think Art is like one is like one twenty fourth Jewish or like that. You're being a bit generous with that. One. <laughs> How much did you say? One twenty fourth, maybe. Uh, one one thousand twenty fourth, maybe. <laughs> and then at the end, we'll drizzle in some of this really good Spanish uh, E V O O in there. Alan Girl is about to get into the whole part where Frank stumbles upon the 200 pounds of prime U.S. steer, or at least it once prime. <laughs> I over-seasoned it. <laughs> I sent 20 of my own men to the latrine. <laughs> Do I have more sauce? There should be another uh, Victoria down here. Yeah, I I'm going to stick with Rayo's. I know Victoria's a little cheaper at uh, Costco, but I much prefer... Look at this bag. I was going by there with the mask there, Milwaukee. That I got for Desi at Sam's. This is $5 on sale at Sam's Club right now. You'll see this in the video coming out Saturday. Zero one zero one 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 zero zero. Four Sigmatic, five dollars. A bag, a third of this costs three dollars at uh, Whole Foods. It's the best deal ever. Okay. One would be what two to the two to the eighth power, or is that less than that? Put a little I'm more of this. The... And see, all right. What's the one negative about buying a forty ounce of tomato sauce? The negative 10 power. It is a lot of, a lot of sauce. sauce, and I don't usually make that much pasta yeah. in one sitting. So I suppose you could freeze it if you want, especially if you have like a vacuum sealer kind of thing. It's just, you know, I'm kind of lazy. Although I'm getting a lot better, to be honest, Too at um, vacuum sealing things, especially for uh, marinades. And uh, it's really nice. Uh, Kathy Davison is watching from oh. Cali. Welcome. Can you do a tutorial I to buy Parmesan. on all the different onions? It, that's interesting, Kathy. How many are there that you can think of? I've seen the yellow, the white, the red, green, sometimes by the name of scallions. Yeah. How many other types are there? I mean, technically... Do you, do you like include... Uh, shallots? Do you include shallots? Do you include, uh, what's it called, leeks? Yeah. yeah. Part of the family. Uh, we were at Costco today, and I forgot to buy the 36-month-age Parmesan cheese because I was fresh out. Oh, so bummed. Is single or taken? Off in handcuffs by the IRS? I wonder. Well, it's That's what happens when you don't make a list. You always the, uh, want to make a list for the grocery store. When you don't do it, and then arrest. they were sold out of all of the paper towels today at Costco. They had no paper towels in sight. I couldn't believe it. Have you tried the Victoria sauce made with avocado oil? Uh, no, I haven't. I, to be honest, I'd much rather have extra virgin olive oil. So look, Art, that's it. Now, this would be so much better if I had the Parmesan cheese, which I don't. What? I know, I'm out. Ask Cara to, to go back to the store. We need that. It's really good. Kidding. Back to Costco or Whole Foods? Wherever. I think Whole we Foods... Do DoorDash or something like... And some 36 Whole Foods months. only has 24 month age and it's like twice the price of uh, Is there any Costco. Bobby approved organic loose leaf tea at Thrive? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. The organic, the organic jasmine, any kind of organic loose leaf is fine. It's all about flavor profile. Can you that. recommend a good chicken noodle canned soup? Amy's has yeast extract and yes has carrageenan now. No, to be honest, it's still Amy's. Amy's is going to be the only one. After that, you get worse and worse. Go to Jang's in the house. Yeah, I made it. Nice. Rachel Murray, $5 holler, recommendation for a vacuum sealer. I have one on hold at Amazon. I have the Food Saver brand, and I like it a lot. Um, I don't know if there's better ones now, Rachie. Um, maybe uh, Costco has it. Yeah, um, Renee got those uh, Forger chips. Carolyn has a question for Desi. 
what to replace coconut sugar in chocolate chip cookies with. I'm assuming coconut sugar is a no-go with Carolyn, so. What can we replace what? She can't use coconut sugar, so what should she use? Eat in the cho sugar. chocolate chip cookie recipe. Oh, grab the bag of maple sugar. Um, That'd be I could do perfect. maple sugar or, yeah, maple syrup might make it too long. You don't want the syrup. Maple sugar is the crystallized version of yeah, maple it's syrup. it's pricey, this. but it's really good. Get, th get this on Thrive Market. Uh, it's one of the better prices. It's still pricey, but this is maple sugar. And I mean, or you can just use monk fruit sweetener, right? If you want to make them lower carb. So use coconut sugar if you can't, maple sugar, or monk fruit sweetener. But this is really, really good stuff. Mary wants you to put some ghee in the pasta. Mary, Mary, why a bug in? I actually love that idea, Mary. Let's take some of that Thrive Market ghee. My family would love to know if this bulgur is wheat is Bobby approved at all. A uh, bulgur wheat? No. It's not because, uh, once again, if it's not organic. Whitey bulgur? What's it? Whitey bulgur, yeah. It's just, it's not, you don't want that. It's not a good quality uh, grain. If you're, oh, you know what? Here, if you're going to eat grains, find a locally sourced Speaking of being hauled off in cuffs, organic mill. So in Chicago, there's something called Janie's Mill. Read the label on this. All right, this is the kind of flour. If you want flour, this is made from organic, whole kernel, ancient Janie. grains. So even people who might be a little sensitive. Oh, not, not a good idea. Oh, I got I got vetoed. Whoever told me to put the no, no the ghee. Jesse no. says no. Oh, oh, olive oil. Yeah, why am I doing that? I got this because beautiful. Somebody asked you to. No, I'm gonna you're use a man this. Of the, you're a man my, of the people. My Spanish Casa de Aldo, single estate, extra virgin olive oil, pressed within six hours of harvest. This stuff, smell this. Renee wants to know if you use shallots. Fruity, uh, grassy, fruity, delicious. Well, garnish at the end. I don't, Renee. I don't know if I've ever seen you use a shallot. Yeah, that's fine. I'm done with this, Mom. More. Rachel says it's an old Italian secret to put butter on the pasta before the sauce. Before. We have a butter on the. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put butter then. So whoever suggested the ghee is gonna go into a cage match with Desi. <laughs> so we can do butter. And we'll be live streaming it Thursday. <laughs> Milwaukee Brewer, five dollars. If you ever get to H Mart, you'll need to make it a point to find out exactly how a native Korean speaker pronounces gochujang. Ah, the thing is I'm going to go there and I won't even understand the products there because I'm such a gringo. And then I just feel like so many of the products you're going to have. Can you be a gringo in a Korean store? Yeah, that's my, that's my ultimate term for just being a white guy in a, a different culture. Sounds like fat guy in a little coat, white guy in a yeah. ethnic so a lot of store. The, a lot of those sauces, they just have like a lot of stuff. I added sugar, MSG, flavor enhancers, just stuff I really don't love. But you yes, that? yes, ma'am. Do you have real panko or just pork panko? Oh, uh, no, not real panko. No way. Either use pork panko or use paleo flour or what okay. else can we do? Or uh, coconut flour. How many eggs should I do for instance? I'd say probably say two or three. Got to have somebody Korean on here. Yeah. We have a lot of fans. Yeah, this is good Anybody stuff. can phonetically pronounce how a true Korean would pronounce Go to Jang, because I'm sure Go Bobby and I Chang? are doing it Go right. Go to Chang? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I might ask one this weekend. I was going to go outside the Friday. Report, if I can get the pronunciation. It's going to get so messy here. What do you think? Oh, idea? Okay. So here's what I want to do. Well, yeah, ask Power. He's pretty much uh, Korean, isn't he? Sungin Yi is a native Korean. So our question for you, if you can pronounce, if you can spell out the proper pronunciation of Go to Jang, the uh, pepper and soybean paste, we want to know how we should be pronouncing it, so if it's possible to spell it out. Google it on YouTube. <laughs> well, it might be, be like Rao. Right, it might be actually tough to phonetically uh, type out. It might be missing some uh, important things. Possible. Go Chu Zhuang. Uh, no? Go Chu Zhang. Oh, Zhuang. Go Chu Chang. Go Chu Chang. Look what they have at uh, Whole Foods Art. An 18 pack container of organic vital farm. Thank you so much. 1999. How cool is that? Whoa! Thank you, thank you. Jackie Adam Spiegel, 24.99. Bobby, would you ever do a book of Jewish foods? I need good recipes for holiday foods. I mean, maybe I get uh, an ebook, Jackie. I do need to get my uh, my Jewish uh, family like on the Bobby approved uh, recipe train. So thank you for that. Uh, back to back Jack. super chats. Kelly Weinstein right after that 499 is sending Kelly. Desi some love. Thank you for teaching me how to bake healthy. Desi, thank you for teaching Kelly Weinstein. I assume Kelly, you're a fellow Jew too. Back to back Jewish uh, super chats. Thank you. 
Uh, let's see here. Desi, I have a proposal from Ellen Girl. Know about your short attention span. Watch first 15 minutes of Broad Church on Netflix once you're done with Rami. If you don't like it, I'll send you another Loft gift card. Oh, ha! Wait, which one? Say again? Uh, she says, watch the first 15 minutes of Broad Church on Netflix once Broad you're done watching. Church. Once you're done, done watching Never Rami. Heard of it. Broad if you don't like it, she'll send you a gift card to Loft again. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll do that. Broad church. Cryptomorpheus, can art create a show intro jingle a la George Thurgood's Who Do You Love? Ah, I might have to uh, try that. We'll see. Who do you love? Sound good, Rustina? Yeah, no. I mean, not that I have a short attention span, I just need the show to really grab me and kind of like, if the if the dialogue is is boring or just very like flat, then I'm out. So it's uh, she says it's a British TV series. Oh, British! I like British. And then uh, oh no, that Alan Girl's talking to somebody else. Season two is not as good. So you any updates on the gee popcorn <laughs> shirts and You're their availability? Uh, yeah, oh man. man. Early I'm not October. Have dinner if you lock me out, sister. Blessings to all from Connecticut. Thank you, Ruth. Blessings right back to you in Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, Maggie B agrees. If the show doesn't get me in the first 15 minutes, I'm out. Yeah, Desi's very quick to judge shows. Super quick. BRB. Excuse me. Oh, for those of you playing at home, <laughs> should be drinking by now. Hi, Rose. Can you say hi to 974 people watching? Can you wave hi? Or not? Okay. Welcome everybody. Do my best to answer some questions here. I think all of us have short attention span at times. The problem is when someone has a short attention span all of the time. Well said. Not until you hit a thousand. Yeah, so we need more people watching. So go ahead and share the live stream so that we can get a wave from Rose once we're over a thousand people. Yeah, I'd love to go to an H Mart. Never been to one. What's going on, Lala girl? Indian men only welcome. Brielle. Yeah, there we go. Got to represent some Texas on there. Oh, I got the brisket, Maggie's. I got some leftovers in the freezer. Texas rules, Cap and Jimmy. I lived there for a number of years. It's a great state. Ellen Girl, I asked you earlier to show your face. I showed my face early on. You just weren't in the house at that moment. Art's face is his case. Art, when will you cook us a dinner? I don't know. Yeah, one which of these one is days. that? Garlic? Uh, this is onion. Miss you, thank more you, Chandra. Char, vigil. Just keep it pretty bad. Onion powder, garlic One powder. One of the real mass of Texas. Yeah, and oregano or thyme. That's maybe. really funny. Keep it pretty basic. Let me see if there's more onion powder here. Art, please cook us a dinner soon. Please. Yeah. Thank maybe Art will cook dinner on uh, Thursday. How does that oh, sound? I'm wearing the same shirt that Bobby's wearing. <laughs> I was wearing mine first. Viviana, tell me when you make that thing. If you do it on live stream, I'll show it. I don't see. So don't remind me to get onion powder. I don't need it. Wait, no? What else are you going to cook? Ramesh wants to know. Tonight, while well, lamb chops are about to go in the carbon steel pan, salad's almost done. We just need a dressing. I might use a vital, uh, pro, Primal Kitchen. And then we got pasta done. So dinner's almost ready. Oh, super chat from Bryce Pen 999 I noticed that Fourth and Heart grass-fed ghee has half a gram of trans fat per serving. Could this just be from the CLAs? Uh, yeah, I mean... It's, Got to be naturally occurring, I'm going to assume. I don't see that on oh, mine. No, Ramesh wants to know, Art, what are you going to oh, do for us? Oh, you don't see that on mine? But that's got to be like a naturally occurring one. I wouldn't worry about that at all. I don't know what I'm going to cook. Huh? That's up for uh, debate maybe and you interpretation. Guys can vote. You know what I want to make soon, and maybe Art can make it on Thursday, is stuffed peppers. Mm. We have a recipe in the cookbook. I think it'd be really nice to make that. How about a three-hour bolognese? Yeah, Art, I think that's a good uh, Rosh Hashanah dish. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wait, no, I just got pork. Carlos on says it. he remind. Oh, that's right. You remind him of uh, William Defoe. Uh, so I've heard. So I've heard. Uh, Nisa, Nissa wants to know if you can do a video of what's in your shopping cart while you're grocery shopping. Uh, that's not a bad idea. 
We'll do another live stream at Whole Foods pretty soon. I love uh, those live cook-alongs. Indian men only ribeye, sounds good. I had enough beef last week, and I, after having a few days of brisket, I'm like, okay, I'm taking a break from beef. <laughs> so ribeye doesn't sound as good right now, but it always sounds good. Uh, Sunrisa wants to ask you about Moroccan Jewish food. You know how to do any Moroccan Jewish food? Uh, I can't say I have, no. I know. Well, first of all, I've never been I've got, to Morocco. I've got a friend that might know. Um, but that sounds really yummy. Might have to ask. How about a 30-minute version of three-hour bolognese? No, we got to go real deal. Three hours or bust. Will your next Whole Foods live feed be Doug approved? Be what? Doug approved? <laughs> uh, let's hope so. Ooh, Lana, that's a great idea. Let's hope Art. so. Art. That was Lana a very wants fun, me right? to cook some Finnish dishes. That would be interesting. Ooh, grand idea. I'm still on Rosh Hashanah. How about forget the matzo balls, just cook a good chicken soup to put the matzo ball in? <clears throat> That's a good idea. That's What's a big that? matzo ball. Make a chicken soup with a whole pasture-raised chicken, some good root vegetables, make the broth, fortify it. That sounds really Wasn't good. Wasn't that when George was thinking about telling his girlfriend that he loves her, and then Jerry's like, That's a big matzo ball? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Where's my salt? Bebo? Grapes are so good right now, by the way. Organic grapes are on sale at Whole Foods. Use my grape cleaning hack with the salt and the baking soda. Ah, let's use it. A little bit of salt. I like Celtic sea salt. Whoever said earlier that I sound like I'm Jewish, do you watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? That made me think of the Jewish, or the not Jewish lawyer named Burr. Ah, Burr, yeah. We were just talking Jerry about Jerry thought, or, or Larry thought he was Jewish, but he's Swedish. That reminds me of Seinfeld. Alec Berg. Alec Berg. Alec Berg. Harish Medlari, 499. High Flav City team. Any idea if Forager Chip is discontinued at Whole Foods? Um, the ones in the orange packet? I don't know. I know Renee just scooped a bag for 99 cents at a grocery outlet. Crazy. I hope they're not discontinued because that's the best chip on the market in terms of flavor and... Uh, Ingredients, insane. JS just said, Curb is the best show through eight seasons. Change my mind. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you a little change my mind. Joseph Finley, Toonses just made pulled pork in a crock pot. Thrive Market keto BBQ sauce is pretty good. Ooh. I think Bill Brasky would approve of that one, Finley. Laura, that sounds good. Welcome. Laura, Toonses, the driving tech. Rock in the kitchen tonight. All right, let's go outside and throw these in the pan. And we're yeah, going to cook them in... Real quick, first person who answers, cook them in duck fat or pork fat. Go. All right, Tommy. I will. I will look for the first. The first three people. First three. Oh my. Not earth crowd or pork duck duck. Pork duck and duck were the first three. Pork duck and so duck it is. So duck, duck wins. All right. Duck duck goose. Duck fat rules. Not Bless duck duck gray duck. Sorry, to all our Minnesotans watching. Okay. Oh, super chat. La la girl. Nine fifteen. Happy birthday to my sister D. We've hey. been cooking like crazy during this COVID 2020 and thriving. Woohoo! Hey, a very happy birthday to Sister Thank D. You, I would sister say that. D and Diane. Thanks for that super so chat. So sweet of you, la la girl. Oh, it's outside, y'all. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, folks. Are my shoes out there? Yes, I put it over here. Right Thank first. you. I gotta go. I gotta cook the food. You can lead the way, Rose. I think the pan's like really hot, too. Come on, Rusty. Oh. Indian men only, yes. I like avocado oil. I use it quite a bit. Okay. Duck fat is in the pan. This is a smoking hot pan. So for just Hang a on. second. Smoking. Hopefully, there we go. Buffering. We're good? We're hopefully good now. Okay. A good amount of oil in there. I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to put Thank the you, chunks Harish. in there. That'll lower the heat a little bit. You can only probably get three. Is there a guard here? i got to go back in and get it. Oh, <laughs> All right, so push the meat in. It Use smells it. very good. Yeah, it smells good. That duck fat. I have the heat set over medium high. Go to Jang. These are from Costco. He thought they're from Chernobyl. <laughs> Why? Because they're, so they're big? huge, yeah. Yeah, I got the biggest one there. Super like, chat, Fernando V, $3. Art, you look like the great Peter O'Toole. Wow. Okay. Uh, I know the name, but I don't really know who that is, to be honest. I think it's a famous actor. Enlighten me. I'm, I'm going to go in. I'm going to get a splatter guard Thank and you. Super another... Chat. Big time. 
pan or something. All right, talk amongst yourself. Rosie, go say hi to everyone. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you yet a topic. <laughs> Rose, what's the topic? No? Okay. Coffee talk. I'm your host, Linda Richmond. Yeah, go for it, Mama. That's a great skit. Coffee talk. Ach, I'm getting spilkas in my connect to the zoink. Back to Arturo. Let's see here. Coffee talk. Peter O'Toole is known for Lawrence of Arabia. I did not see that movie. That reminds me of uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, uh, Lawrence, you sound like royalty. Lawrence of Arabia! Hey, you got sir, no, sir! Okay, uh, more t-shirt ideas. That's a great movie. One of the few movies I've seen. Housewives of Late Night was also funny yeah, as hell. Let's see that one. You need to choose your side dish for your dinner. Let's focus on choosing the uh, main dish before we start going there. Art, do you always Sunny in Philly? I, I've never seen Sunny in Philadelphia. I've heard I might like it, though. Can you ask Rose where her belly button is, please? Oh, Rose. Rachel just gave you a super chat. What did I miss? Rachel Murray just gave you a super chat, Rose. Oh, $50. This oh is my for God, beautiful, Rachel. Beautiful Rose honey. And you are the sweetest, Rachel. Princess Electronica wants to know, where's your belly button, Rose? <laughs> where's your belly button? Where's your belly button? Yeah. yeah. We haven't done that game in a while for us. Rose has moved on to bigger and better things. She does like full yoga routines, all that other good stuff. Right, Rose? Huh? Rabbi right. Rabbi Shops Teja. are in the pan. We're in the home stretch here. Rabbi Teja, I have a YouTube channel. I don't do much with it, but uh, YouTube uh, Arthur Almasy, A L M A S S Y. Art so, kind of is from Crypto Morpheus. Art kind of resembles Ed Begley Jr. You know who that is? Ah. Uh. The name sounds familiar. Is that the guy from The Hangover? Don't know. Indian Men Only wants to know how you're doing today, Kara. I'm doing very well. She's doing very well. <laughs> how are you? Kara's doing great. Hey, Rosie, you right? I guess if you're just joining, leave comments down below. We're chilling. We're making lamb chops. We're doing it in a hot uh, carbon steel pan. We got our pasta done. Our salad's almost done. It's like a really good semi-homemade meal because we used two kinds of pasta sauces, the uh, Victoria Organic from Costco and the Primal Kitchen uh, Dairy Free Alfredo. And we're going to use the Primal Kitchen Vegan uh, Ranch dressing. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Milwaukee Brewer had a question for Rose. Where's your cranium? <laughs> Milwaukee Brewer. <laughs> she laughed. She's like, I, I can't answer those kind of questions. Yeah, so think about... It's kind of crazy, all this stuff happening. So it's September right now. So in October alone, the t-shirts will be ready. The app, the Bobby Proof app should be ready. And the Flav City Immune Tea will be ready. And the cookbook will be ready December 1st. So a lot of cool stuff happening. And uh, next week, Desi and I will be in uh, Florida. We're visiting our friend uh, Erica and Dan in Boca. We're going down there to visit them. And we're going to do some house hunting to see if we like Boca Raton. But we'll still do a live stream for sure on Friday at her house and maybe another day too. And uh, we'll be back the following Wednesday. So Wednesday to Wednesday we'll be gone and um, all that good stuff. Ed Begley was a doctor on St. Elsewhere with Howie Mandel. Oh, wow. That's going way back. Howie Mandel was on St. El Lindsay Abbott oh, has wow. a question from Colorado. Do you have the recipe for the tagliatelle kale mushroom pasta you made last week on your stories? It's coming in my cookbook. It's a five ingredient book. A recipe in the new cookbook is just uh, wild mushrooms, kale, jovial tagliatelle, parmesan cheese and garlic, and then pasta water. It's in the new book, but I'll share the recipe on Instagram stories as we get closer to the book of the book, uh, the book launch. Viviana wants to know if the t-shirts will be a limited run. Uh, no, it won't be limited. It's going to be out hopefully for a long time. Check it Maggie out. Maggie B is in Dania Beach, FYI, if you're going to Florida. Ah, ooh, look at this art. Look at the crust. That. Is the crust a must? This crust is a must. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's the beauty of this pan, y'all. Beautiful. Kelly, Kelly from that. Canada has a question for Rose. Rose, where is your tibia? <laughs> now you guys are getting a little advanced for her. So this is the carbon steel pan. Art, once again, explain what you did to get this 
pan ready to cook it. Okay. Well, similar to a cast iron pan, you've got to season this pan. Otherwise, it's going to rust and it's also not going to be non-stick. And to do that, the first time when this comes from the factory or from Amazon, it's got like a beeswax or some sort of protectant on there. So you got to scrub it with hot soapy water, a good scrubbing brush, dry it off, get it on the pan, get it on the burner, and then uh, add some salt and some oil and some potato skins. <laughs> And saute the heck out of those potato skins until they turn all brown and cooked, and then you do it again, uh, minus the washing. Just add some more salt, oil, potato skins, and then uh, your pan should be seasoned. And then kind every of time you use it, what do you do to clean it and season it? You use hot water. Uh, if you need to use a soft sponge or soft brush, you can. You don't want to scrub the heck out of it if you don't need to. And dry it off, get it on the burner, and put just a little, like a quarter teaspoon of oil, rub it in with a rag, and heat it up over like a gentle heat and then uh, less and less oil should be available and visible to you and then once it starts smoking you need to let it smoke for like two minutes so that the oil polymerizes yeah polymerizes polymerizes Crazy. Yes. And if you add too much oil what happens too much oil it makes a mess and uh starts to get sticky i think it actually we try not the to purpose do. of the whole thing in the first place because it becomes sticky so it's not for everyone but if you don't mind it it's an amazing pan for a high heat cooking and a natural non-stick. So my next test, after I season a few more times, Art, will be to cook eggs in there and see what happens. Um, question about Instagram stories. This is a question for me. Yes. Does it only let you post something from the last 24 hours? Or can you put anything on your story? Oh, anything. Yeah. It used to be the other way, didn't it? Uh, I thought like it had to be recent. Uh, yeah, a long time ago. You can go to anything in your camera roll yeah. and post it there. Okay. Maggie B was telling me I should do an Instagram story of the process of seasoning it. And yes. I recorded everything I did. Yes, do it. There are going to be some people in my feed. They're going to be like, why are you posting this? This is ah, stupid. I, it's okay. <laughs> but most of you want to see it. Rachel Murray, Super Chat again, $50. Rachie. I'm up for buying the pan if Art can come to SQ to prep my pan. Well, hopefully at some point we'll be able to travel to San Quentin and around the country and around the world. Hopefully sooner than later. And uh, Art would do that for you, uh, Rachie. Tom sure. Barrel says I even nailed the extra credit question. I don't know. Was that extra credit? I thought I missed a lot of questions in my long-winded explanation. Oh my God, these look beautiful. Check out the crust art on the second side here. And now that fat is rendering in the pan. Oh wow, look at that. Maggie B says you should have baby rose size shirts too. <laughs> I should. Well, it's cool because we're doing it with a company called Flavor Gallery and they take care of all the production. So that's not my expertise, obviously. And they're USA made, high quality uh, cotton or cotton blend. Not, I hate buying merch and it's so cheap quality. It really bugs me. So look at all the oil. So we started with the duck fat, but now it's a combo of duck fat and lamb fat, which is like the ultimate fat ever. What am I doing right now, Art? You're stacking your lamb. Why am I doing that on this side? It's nice to get all sides brown. Yes, there's a lot of fat on here. Hi, Rose. Look at Rose. She's like, is my dinner almost ready? Is my dinner almost ready, y'all? It's going to be a good one, Roasty. Now, Bobby, I've heard some people say that what you're doing here is like sealing in the juices. <laughs> what would you say? So if you think when you're searing meat, you're sealing in the douche juices, you're actually... <laughs> the douches. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're actually being a douche. You're actually doing the opposite. You're actually creating a little more juice to run out because you're breaking the cell walls, but you're creating so much flavor in it's the working. Maillard reaction. It doesn't matter. Searing is about creating flavor and texture. It's not about sealing juices. There are no juices to seal in. That is a myth. All right, perfect. So you can see I have the heat actually set like medium, medium, high-ish. Because these are thick chops, or as uh, Brad Parham said, Chernobyl chops. Chernobyl chops. So how how, how these... hot is that, uh, the, the handle? Uh, not hot at all. Actually. Okay, good. Not... I'm going to take these inside, put a dab of grill cream, I mean uh, ghee on top of them, and put them in the warming oven. Talk amongst yourself. Let's talk about... The first play Chicago Cubs. What's going to happen with the season? All that good jazz. All right, Roasty. So, question I'll have for you. We got Any Minnesotans on here? I mentioned Duck Duck Gray Duck right? earlier, which you yeah. guys probably were happy about until I knocked it and said, that's wrong. It's Duck Duck Goose. And I put a little uh, Who oh, smells good, Mom. smells like olive oil. Florida is where it's at. Please move here. Florida is a great state. 
How much does art charge for pan seasoning? Uh, well, I suppose I need the, the price of my flight. Uh, beyond that, I'll have to come up with a hourly rate to season. It's your rose. Say hello, Rose. Hey, Kara, tell Art to come in and check the uh, what Desi's doing. Oh, one go. No, uh, ghee is basically clarified butter that's been cooked until it's gotten a little uh, nutty and browned. What's that? Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, probably a good idea. Excuse me, Rose. Beep. Beep. Desi is rocking these fried zucchini cakes like a boss lady. Look at this. So what's in there again, Dislav? Zucchini, onions, dill, egg, and just I roll them in some oh. paleo flour. Is there no binder in the middle? No. Wow. No binder in Fried the middle. Fried in a... The organic Italian extra virgin olive oil from Costco, which actually Art, Art and I are going to film a video this week about fake olive oil and the Costco organic extra virgin Italian olive oil is one of the best ones on the market. I cook with EVOO and then I finish with really good EVOO like this. Like when I take the dip, I'll plate it with this, but I, would, I wouldn't finish with like a... Costco one because it's not like the best quality EVO, but it's really pure and actually really good. Another good one would be like Lucini or uh, California um, Olive Ranch is really good too. Jackie, have him speak on $39.99 for the upcoming new year. We want you to wish you, Bobby, Desi, and Sweet wow. Rose a very happy and healthy Jewish New Year. Oh, we love Jackie. all that you do. Thank you, Jackie. You're so sweet. Tova to you, Jackie. Lashana Tova to you and your family and health and wealth and all good things in the new year. What is the Jewish New Year now? Is it like 5,000 something? 5,021 something? 3,000 years. 5,000. Even better. <laughs> Even better. I only eat red lentil pasta. Don't miss the regular got, pasta. That's right. Why would you miss it? Look. I've got 5,701 in my head. Look at this, Skippy boy. Wrong. Where's my... Uh, I have... I mean, look at this. Why would you miss pasta when you have this beautiful... First of all, no one knows this is uh, red lentil pasta. I covered it in the butter. Let me take a sample now. Ooh, wow. That's how I feel. That's good. Wow. Yum-oh. Uh, 5781 is the year. I was off by 80 years. Oh, well, I said 5701, yeah. Uh, let's go back outside. Uh, it needs parm, says Maggie. Well, Maggie, we're out of Parmesan cheese. Stop making How can me you let so that bad. happen? You're a winner it. would not run out of Parmesan cheese, as I would say on Seinfeld, sort of. Yep. Where are my sandals? Uh -huh. Roast take them? Let me roast all my sandals. <laughs> uh, here's Arts. Um, yeah, we were at Can Costco today, and when you don't make a grocery list, you forget things. And I forgot my 36 month age Parmigiano at Asiano. It's all good. <laughs> Be awesome to come out to Cali. I'm now going, we have to go going back. back, back to Cali. Funny thing Cali. is, actually, I got to go back to Costco anyway because we have a, um, a bed that we bought there that we don't want because we don't really love it. And I bought it online, and they normally do online returns. They'll pick it up, but because it's a bed and because of Corona, they won't come here. So they said I have to bring it in the warehouse. So my car is too small for that. So I'll just get an Uber XL. And then I'll go back and exchange it. The Costco return policy is amazing. Four years, it's like the best policy ever. Millie Sanchez says, was it Puccini oil to finish? What did you say you were finishing with? Oh, no, EVOO. Okay. I'm cooking with EVOO and finishing with EVO. Um, a good cooking EVOO is Lucini brand. The two best brands at the grocery store for cooking extra virgin olive oil is Lucini or California Estate or the Costco one. Uh, Rachel Murray with a $25 super chat. You bring so much joy and happiness to me and my family. I've got some 36 month parm. I'm on my way. <laughs> Dude, Thank you. That's what I want to hear. Thanks well, so funny, much. I used to, Art's the one who made me splurge on the 36 month because I used to be Senior Cheapo, Senior Barato, and just get the 24. And then Art's like, Dude, the crystals in there, the lactic acid crystals are nowhere compared to the 36 month age. And he's right, it's so much better. And the price is so right, you get a big thing of real. We're not talking about domestic bullcrap. 
Parmesan. This is Parmigiano Reggiano from Parma, Italy. The real deal. It's beautiful. And even though it's not organic, in Parma they outlaw GMOs, so it's non-GMO milk. Che buono Parmigiano Reggiano. Good stuff. Wow, look at this art. There's so art. much fat. Can you explain pan. why Bobby doesn't crowd the pan when searing the chops? Oh, that's a good question. Art I definitely, do that. I definitely could explain that. And the reason why is a uh, couple things. You're going to bring down the temperature a lot the more you put in there. But then also, if you stuff them next to each other, they're going to just like stew in the juices, and yep. uh, that's not going to give you the nice brown exactly. that you want. So I'd say one of the top mistakes home cooks make is number one, they don't season properly. Salt, pepper, spices, you got to add more than you think. You're not going to over salt the food, just going to make it taste more like itself. Number two, temperature control and pan control. Pans are usually not hot enough to get a sear and they usually put too much in the pan. So if my pan, even though it's really hot, if I dumped four or five chops in there, you're never going to get the crust that I want in there. And you really have to be aggressive with the heat and know that, okay, I can push the boundaries of searing, crusting and burning without burning the food. Jesse says, my parm is really oily. Is that normal? I would say either you let it sit out for a bit yeah. or it's gotten old. So eat yeah. your cheese quicker. Yeah, eat it quicker. Eat more cheese. Eat more cheese. And Fry Parmesan some cheese and aged cheeses like cheddar have no lactose. So if you're lactose intolerant like me, you can have Parmesan cheese. It still has casein. So if you're allergic to casein, the protein in this, you can't have it. But keep in mind, aged cheeses have no lactose. So don't worry about it. Go to Jang wants to know if these Costco chops are blade tenderized too. <laughs> no, because Thankfully they're, not. they're sold. Oh, interesting story. No, they're sold in the whole rack. So I got a DM art from a guy on Instagram. He's a follower. He said, Bobby, I used to work in the meat department at Costco. I forgot where it was. And he said, even though it says on the label blade tenderized, he said, from my experience is the guys are so lazy and don't want to do it that a fraction of it is actually blade tenderized. Ooh. I'm like, well, that's interesting, but I don't know which is yeah. and which isn't. Yeah. So it was kind of interesting. I want to buy one of the cryovac packages of the whole strip or the whole yeah. ribeye and yes. uh, cut my own. Okay. How about age it first? Oh my God, look at the crust on that, you guys. That is insane in the membrane. You know what? This pan, you might not even need to wash it. We might just need to like I think you're 100% right. right. Wow, look at that. Oh my God. First of all, thank God we're doing this outside. That is a sight of beauty. Look at that. Oh Andrew Adlin says, best Metallica song? Turn the page. But that's a Bob Seger song. I know they had a good cover of it, but can you really say it's one of their songs? Guys, this is glorious. I mean, the crust on those chops is beyond restaurant worthy. It is cray cray. Millie, do I cook or just boil water? I, I do all the above. I cook and Art I boil water. Art with the culinary school is fantastic. This is beautiful. What do you do with the extra grease? Do you like use it as moisturizer or anything? No, I'll okay. just like uh, dispose of it responsibly. It's uh, chicharron from Epic in the pan. It is. But you guys, that's the beauty of also doing this outside. If we did this inside, there'd be such a smell and smoke screen Go, my link down below takes you to my Amazon shop. I have this burner. This portable gas burner is $20. Get the butane tanks that come with it or are listed on there too. Get a splatter guard made in the shade. Anytime you want to cook lamb chops, pork chops, steak, and really high here, keep them, a uh, high uh, heat sear them, come outside. Uh, I'm going to go inside and get my sheet tray real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Well, for those of you playing at home, you know what that means. Bobby's going ah. inside, so... Time to take a swig of whatever it is you're drinking. Rachel Murray, five dollars. Bobby is cooking like a boss. That's what he does. That is what he does. Art, go check on what Desi is doing. I think Bobby's coming right out, so I think I'll stay here. Oh my gee. Art doesn't eat organic. It's not like I won't eat something that's organic, but I don't typically buy organic. You had a super chat here from. Uh, let me read it. Five dollars, Rachel Murray. Bobby is cooking like a boss. Ah, oh, thank you, Rachie. You're so sweet. I mean, it only gets better. It keeps getting better batch by batch because you're essentially just frying them in their own fat now. There's more lamb fat in here than there is uh, the duck fat we started with. So I just want to stack it up here. In fact, this is the most approachable way to cook lamb chops. 
because cheese balls. it's very, very easy and tasty. That's not working well. Jackie Haddon Spiegel, $24.99. Bobby is the best cook on YouTube. Ah, la chanato, la Thank you, Jackie. Go to Jenning wants to know if you're going for medium rare. Uh, yes, I'm going for medium, in between medium and medium rare. Okay, let's put these guys down. And this pan's starting to look nice. It looks pretty beautiful. It's literally crazy how gorgeous. I'm going to push that over here. It's a lot of fat. Holy it's, cow. It's insane. They're literally frying now. They're not even like searing. They're frying in their own fat. And I'm not complaining about it. Okay. I'm going to go inside and put a little dab of... Brill cream. Brill cream on here. AKA ghee. And I'll be right... Look at this. Come on. Look at this, you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Feel it. Feel it. Feel the vibration. Touch it. Feel it. Love it. <laughs> Leave my mind off a monkey. <laughs> Welcome to Sprockets. All right, so Richard Marcotte, the Southwest employee fan of Flave City, 499 Super Chat, Duck Fat. Oh. You get that from, Ooh, duck. duck Fat is from Epic. Yeah. So wherever you get your Epic from. Season proper. Uh, it's good stuff, I can say that. Oh. Thanks for that Super Chat, Richard. Pretty good. Hard gets to eat like a caveman. That's the only way I eat. Whole Foods and Fresh Time have a duck fat. Yeah. I know you can get it at Whole Foods. I think you can get it. Can uh, you get that on uh, Thrive? You can almost anything on Thrive. Where's your mask, Art? My mask is in the car. I only wear that when I have to go into a store because you have to wear masks in our stores. On Frozen Caveman Lawyer. Frozen, on frozen Lawyer Caveman. Oh, okay. Go Dodgers. You had to throw that in, Richard, but that's okay, all right. Up, Are you from Cali originally? That's the part I don't know. Man, getting like the two-faced thing going on with the shadow effect there. I wouldn't be surprised if Woodman's had the duck fat. Woodman's has a really good selection of products, so I would not be surprised if they have. All right. Hey, does uh, Thrive sell that epic uh, duck fat? Um, I don't know. Good I didn't question. know the answer. Okay. I would check because it's going to be cheaper than Whole Foods for sure. Thrivemarket.com slash Bobby to get your free gift and a 30-day free trial. Check that out for sure. I'm excited. I just tried some. I don't know if you can hear me. I tried some of Desi's uh, zucchini cakes, and they're lovely. She's making a dairy-free dill garlic sauce with that forager cashew uh, sour cream. See, bone, huh? Thank you, Jackie. Beautiful. This is Ooh, so lovely. Richard Marcotte gave you a super chat while you were inside. Richie. So, yeah, $4.99. Thank you, Richard. I, I said go Dodgers, that. and then... Uh, Oso El Siete says, go Padres, Dodgers going down. Ooh, Padres are, I don't know their record, but I saw the Dodgers had a pretty good record last time I saw it. Answer this question. They're asking uh, if you and I are brothers. From another mother. So this weekend, I'm excited. We're going to take a Supreme Rose. Daddy, no. Apple picking. Art might come along. Uh, it's opening weekend for apple picking. We're going to take Rose to a, uh, a uh, apple orchard in the suburbs. I'm kind of bummed because I went on their website this morning and they're saying it's very different from last year's because of Corona. It's like you can't eat any of the fruit there. You got a social distance. You can't picnic. You can't go to the bathroom there. But it's just fun to walk around the orchard and pick the apples. Hopefully they have organic apples. I usually go to the bathroom when I'm in an apple orchard. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I guess if there's no public bathroom, people might be fertilizing the trees You don't a want lot. to get eromycetosis poisoning. And die. Exactly, Art. Let's see what's going on here. Well, if you had George Costanza's bathroom app, you could see where the greatest bathrooms are That's all right. in New York City. That's a great point, Arthur. So that'll be fun, and then once it gets closer to Halloween, we'll go to the pumpkin patch and all that good stuff. But, man, I feel bad for parents who have kids who are a bit older. That's right, and, uh, Yeah, go to uh, a school and having issues and Parki tough stuff, man. Parking, very, very tough parking stuff. lot episode of Seinfeld. Classic. And we're doing a lot of Seinfeld today. That's great. Oh, yeah. That's how we roll. Oh, yeah. If you didn't hear us earlier, we are talking about Big Lots. We went to Big Lots today on the west side of Chicago. They had some good stuff, you guys. They had, they had the um, best-in-class Bobby-approved grass-fed organic mac and cheese from Annie's. It was a dollar a box. Um, what else did they have? They had some really beautiful, uh, you know, Soli um, Paleo fruit leather bars for a dollar. They had nice uh, organic... Uh, Oatmeal and they had they had Lara bars for like a six pack for two dollars and change it was amazing, amazing. Uh, four or five pack for like two dollars. Uh, two eighty. Two eighty. 
for, it was uh, an eight pack for four dollars. Yeah, yeah, eight pack for four. Different flavor. It was beautiful. They had a product there that was like two dollars and one cent. There was, oh, really? one, there was something there that had oh, one strange. penny. Yeah. But oh. some stuff there is not cheap at all. Like they had like almond flour and some other stuff that's actually more expensive than like Whole Foods. I was like, that's weird. Very weird. So a pithy comment from Crypto Morpheus. Yes. The best avocados I ever had came from a local farmer who grew it next to a fish pond. So fish poop equals good fertilizer. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, to get local avocados, you really have to be in California. People are asking um, about the stove. Yeah, check it out. It's on Bobby's Amazon page. Yep. Amazon. This is not a Coleman camping stove. This is a, I don't know what it's called, but it's on his Amazon page. Yeah. The link's in the description box. Uh, Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Wow. This truck is sick. This one's done. I'm just going to keep it on top of that one. I used to make about a 7 or 8% commission on them. It's really not about the money. It's just about giving you access to the best quality stuff that I use. And then during Corona, Amazon's mm -hmm. like, yo, we're making so much money. We don't need you affiliates anymore. So they cut our uh, commissions down to like 2 or 3% from 8%, which is really, really crappy of them. Um, but at this point, like, yeah, I make a small commission, but I'd rather just have you guys have access to the best quality kitchen gear. A super chat from Rachel Murray again, $25. But, but to quote Bobby in 1997, this is not for you. Can't forget about beautiful Desi. This super chat is for her. Oh, thank you, Rachie. I will tell her that as I get the sheet tray. Uh, Bobby, the Arctic char fish, what did you season it with again and what temperature in the oven for how long? 300 degrees for about 24 minutes until the internal temperature is 133 degrees. You would know because you'll have the probe thermometer from my Amazon shop page. Link down below. Um, Arctic char, what else? Oh, What'd you salt with? and ghee. That's it. 300 degrees is the key, low temperature. Get Arctic char. It's like a mix between salmon and trout. All right. The rapid fire question and answer Hello, while Bobby Rosina. goes inside. Moment of the show. You guys are not oh, even close right. to looking like brothers. Hey, some people right. think we look like brothers. Yeah, Roasty. Art, yes, originally from, oh, Richard, okay. Originally from Paradise, California, which in the news back in November 2018 is the entire town was destroyed. Oh, that's a bit brutal. And not all the Whole Foods have the Arctic Char art. Um, so I would call ahead. It's like in Chicago, the Ashland Belmont, the huge one doesn't have it. But the small one in East Lakeview does have it. So it's a bit strange, but it's worth asking around for. You better shop around. Okay, these are Thank done. you, Alan Girl. Appreciate you being a moderator. Moderators! Mount up. Ellen mounts up. Okay, he guys. A cool look at the amount of rendered lamb fat in this pan here. Look at this. Art. This is insane. Um, somebody is look asking me a question. So, ooh. I don't think we have to clean the pan at all afterwards. Just wipe it up, maybe. Shocker 1430. Need a good colon cleanse. Recommend anything, Art? Yeah, White Castle sliders. No, colon cleanse. Watch my video for foods for constipation. I got you covered on that one. Okay. Just willing to throw the brother. Praise baby Jesus, we did this outside. If we did this inside, the fire alarm would have gone off. Oil would have splattered everywhere, because even though I'm using my splatter guard, it still splatters. And um, it would have smelled like lamb for 24 hours. Brad Parham wants you to stir some mustard into that. Into the oil? Just says into that. Into that. Into the pan juices, maybe? And drizzle. Yeah, I guess pan juices, mustard, and drizzle. Okay. That's a great idea, Goji. That's a very... Um, it's all fat, though. Or, I mean, there's some juice, but just a lot of fat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's a very, like, um, Georgia kind of thing where power is from. Jaw, would you take some mustard? He's saying yes, sir. Look at this, Rostina. Ooh, doggy. Look at those choppers, Rosty. And look what Desi's been up to while we've been out there. Having a grand old time. Making these beautiful choppers here. Paleo uh, pancakers. We're making a mess. Art and I are going to be cleaning for a while. It's called zucchini cakes. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> I thought I heard zucchini bread earlier. Yeah, I don't know. I and when, I saw the, when, when I saw the cakes, I'm like, oh, that's you not zucchini bread. Pancakes. Oh, maybe that's why I thought zucchini bread. Might have to have Kara stay overnight and help us clean. Gochujang Jang lives in Georgia, <laughs> but he's from North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's from the... Uh, Alan Girl says, Bobby, I might have missed it if you explained before, but I bought lamb chops the other week. They were much smaller than these. Why is that? It varies by season, farm, 
And also, when I go to Costco, I buy the biggest pack. They have small ones there too. You can get whatever you want. I get the biggest one because bigger is better. Would you say that the bones are probably consistent in how much they weigh? So by going bigger, you're going to get more usable product? Um, I don't know. I think the bigger the animal, the bigger the bones too. So it's a tough call. We need some data. We need to start weighing them. The data. We need the data. And proximity to a nuclear plant. Yes. That's very important because you want that uh, nuclear waste into the soil right there. It's like on The Simpsons. Uh huh. Bobby, should I limit the amount of fruit I eat? Well, yeah, fruit is still sugar and fructose. Sugar counts. You want to limit the amount you eat. You want to eat lower sugar if possible, uh, fruit like blueberries and blackberries. Um, but yeah, you still want to lift, uh, Carlos, limit it for sure. Carlos, with a question. Do you plan to update your Bobby approved Kindle book? I hear so many new items this year that aren't in there, or is the app going to replace it? No, the app's going to replace it. Amazon won't let me update that anymore. So even though there is a ton of info in there, um, I'm going to take it down probably pretty soon because I don't want people to buy that thinking it's going to update. Amazon's not, Amazon's just a pain in the butt. Archie Bunker called Zucchini Cuisini. I don't remember that. That's funny. Um, if you didn't hear me earlier, I, this is the Play City Immune Tea. It's the powdered version of my liquid tea uh, right below the video. Check it out, Art. I want you to sign up for the pre-sale list because this is going to go quick. We ordered 15,000 units and we already have 13,000 people on the waiting list. Click on this form right here. And it'll take you to the pre-sale sign-up list. You don't have to pay yet. You just get an email when it goes live. And then my Amazon store is here. This right here is turmeric, lemon, ginger, MCT oil powder, monk fruit, cayenne pepper, and um, black pepper. The black pepper activates the turmeric. The MCT oil helps your body absorb the turmeric. Anti-inflammation and immune boosting properties. If you don't make my fresh version of this, Google Flay City Immune Tea on Google. Um, get this. This stuff is great. It's going to be very and Viviana poked a million holes in her big potato. Now it looks like an alien life form. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right. Let's wrap. Please make a pan sauce out of all that fat. We can't make a pan sauce out of that. That's crazy, right? Art? That's what we were told to do by Gucci, Jane. Oh, I think like I was talking about the right. No, you would maybe it can make a roux. He was no. saying to put mustard in that. No way. That's, That's what he was saying to do. There's like three quarters of a cup of fat. Everybody was saying yum city. No chance. That's if, what they were saying. If I was, I'd probably make a roux with like three tablespoons of that, three tablespoons of flour. It's a North Carolina broth, thing. And then add some like uh, stone ground mustard and cream. I can't make it He out. says grain mustard. No, no chance. That's the fattiest thing ever. Thank you, Sunjum. No way. Whoa. Grain mustard and rosemary. Ah, nice Ellen girl. No chance. Oh, the Shun knife went up $50 from last week. Oh, are you serious? Tweety Bird said so. Dang. Um, so you're not guaranteed to get one, Mia, but you're going to be the first access, so you pretty much are. Let me check that. The shoe knife went up. Let's check it out, Art. I think check you should move to Art. North Carolina. I'm over here. Cryptomorpheus, $2. What's the verdict? The pricey ice cream worth it? Uh, it is. To be honest, it really is. The pricey knife is right here. No, two fifteen. The same. One fifty. Did this go up? Was that one twenty five? I don't know. I, th I don't think it went up that much. I think burn up. Oh, yeah. Can you mix it up for me, please? Thank you. I'm just reheating the uh, pasta here. With I'm eating tacos right now with grass-fed beef. What taco sheets do you recommend? Uh, taco shells, I recommend either La Tortilla Organic Corn and Wheat, Paleo Siete Tortillas, or Hard Shell uh, Paleo ones from uh, Siete or Thrive Market. Renee Denham got your outdoor burner. Smart, Renee. Gocha Jang says, fat is fabulous, all caps. Yeah, but not a three quarters of a cup of it. That's a little much. When you You're going to have to argue with him. Don't argue with me. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm don't not shoot gonna, the messenger, man. No, I'm not going to do it. That's just crazy talk. Here, have some S, Art. You're parched. You're, you're getting a bit clumped, Art. You're getting a bit clumped. This is what Desi's making the sauce out of, the uh, cashew sour um, cream. It it's really good. Sour Cashew yeah, sour cream. Uh, yeah, lemon juice, garlic, dill, some of this great Spanish olive oil in there, just a little bit. Brenda Lopez, how about El Milagro? Are they good or bad? They're not GMO free. They are non GMO, but you can do better, to be honest. I like it. This is great. This is a $12 bottle. I'm going to email these guys to see if we can work together. It's single estate Spanish olive oil, award winning for $12. It's with olives that are picked and pressed six hours after harvest. It's crazy. 
Uh, Milwaukee Brewer with a super chat. $5. I just got an email telling Thrive Unsweetened Ketchup at $2.99. Have you tried it? No, but that sounds great. I would try that for sure. What water purifier do you use, Bobby? Kelly, we have an underwater system, under sink system that's a reverse osmosis and alkaline. Is there a keto condensed milk? No, no I've never seen that. You'd have to make your own. Save the fat to cook in later. <laughs> oh, Rustina. Here, Rust, try, try a bite of this, Rust. Rusty, here. Here, have a little bit of pasta. A little bit of pasta. Ah. Hey, Desi. That got you quiet. Yeah. Ruth would like you to make empanadas keto. Ooh, that's tough. She can make them paleo, but keto's tough. Is it good, Rose? Looking yeah, for a new pasta. waffle maker. Any recommendations? Um, I don't know. We never make waffles. I'd have to look into that. I bet Coach Illustrator has a good uh, I bet they do. I'll have to check that. For that. All right. Okay. Let me just squeeze some now. Where'd the, where the salt go? I, I think I threw it away. Oh, oh coffee pot, uh, the rub, I used my brisket. It was very complicated and it's Look a secret. Rust. I'll fill you in. Oh, yeah, the mocha master? Kosher okay. salt and black pepper, equal amounts. Okay. I need a quarter cup of each for my 12 pound brisket. This is the Primal Kitchen Caesar from uh, Costco. See you, Alan Girl. Have a good night. Lever. Thanks for tuning in. See ya, Alan. Desky's mixing up. That looks really good, though. Take some of this. Wow, Rusty, look at you. Strong girl. A little bit of that dressing. Jack Klompas says to you, Bobby is the world's greatest dad, though I'm not sure how official these rankings really are. You should wear that shirt. I have the shirt. Oh, I'm going to wear that next time, Art. Art got me a great shirt that I'll wear. It's a very me and, Seinfeldian me and Todd shirt. Did. It was yes. a, it's a very Seinfeldian shirt. Gift from your friends. Yes, ma'am. Wow, Good. that's amazing. It's so fresh and zesty. So Gochujang is chiming in again, says, while your arteries will thank you for not making a sauce from the drippings, your tummy will not. I don't know, Bradley. Mm. You literally just stir in some ground mustard with that? That's it? Yeah. That's what he's saying. Crazy. Okay, All right, I think we're ready here, y'all. Want to so, eat? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Come on in here, Art. Let's plate. A little bit of salad down here. My Whole Foods now has Laird Super Cream, Are Super Food Creamer in the refrigerator section. I've been hearing about that. I haven't seen it yet. Hey, by the way, salad ain't got nothing on this mutton. Cheer. Another Seinfeld reference. Chewing right? the fat with your butcher? Yeah, exactly. Instead of eating at Aunt Mima's? A little bit of lamby there. No, Infected Miller, get... that's Kara, who is Rose's nanny. And purchaser of dill. Yeah. <laughs> and... Everything. A little bit of pasta. I know, bro, you're ready. Rose is seriously ready. Look at this. Wow, what a dinner. Where did this come from? This is so exciting. Now, we got that pasta that's already buttered, right? We'll taste some of that Spanish, really good EVOO. Drizzle it over the chops and the pasta. Art, check it out. Lamb chop yeah. dinner. The funk, so rubber. Try this. Mm -hmm. Winner, winner, lamb chop dinner, y'all. Jackie, twenty-five dollars waiting for the cool T-shirts. When and where will they be able to buy them? Uh, I will let you know. It'll be at flavorgallery.com, and I'm saying that's what says October first. That's what D Slop says. Right, I'm going to take a little bite right from the end here. Rose is loving. Actually, you know, I know what Art. All right, this is Art's plate. Art's going to try it. I can't go in there until I see the hashtag. Oh, can someone please do hashtag feed Art because he won't go in otherwise? I got Rose crushing that zucchini cake. Ooh, girlfriend! Yes. Guess yes, the indeed. price of the restaurant game. That's thirty-five dollars. Oh yeah, that's thirty-five bones for sure. Two chops with those side dishes. That's thirty-five bones for sure. Okay. Well, there it is. Maggie says we did. I, I may have missed it. I apologize. Art's like Art's a diva now. He's like, I will not go on screen until someone says hashtag. The stuff's Art. all clean. Uh, everything's all clean. Do I need to like do one bite end it? Uh, no. You can do whatever you want. Oh no, this is your plate. You it's my plate. Okay. You can double. I can dip. do what I want. I can. Wow, really, Ash? Two ninety nine at grocery outlet? My God, I want a grocery outlet so bad. Do they have grocery outlets in Florida? Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Look at that cook, y'all. I think that's nice. Woo, doggy. Not crazy rare. Some people don't like that. Yeah. I'd be fine with it, but I have no complaint about this. Here's to feeling good all the time. Cheers, everybody. Art's living his T-shirt now. Grass-fed lamb. Mmm. That's art. Mmm, doggy. No sauce even, right? That's good lamb. Limited edition t-shirt idea. Art wearing a mask with his goggles at the grocery store. That's awesome. 
Kind of like the Heisenberg t-shirts, it would be art with that on there. <laughs> oh my God. You know it. That is oh, hilarious. That's good. Try the poster. Poster. Yeah, we need a glass of wine with that for sure. I got wow, some huge keto. dinner tonight. Mm. Huge. Huge dinner. Great pasta sauce in there. Right? Now go for the zucchini pancakes. Yeah. It's a very Mediterranean uh, everything. Opa, here. I agree. With the, what was it? Forager, or who's the? Yeah, with the cashew uh, cream sauce, right? Not, here. not yogurt, but not sour cream. Not sour cream. Mmm. <laughs> Good oh, job. The zucchini, you like it? The dill is a nice. Yeah. Thank nice. God. Everyone, give a round of applause to Kara. She saved the day by going to Whole Thank Foods. Thank you very much. How much did two of those cost? Just out of curiosity. Five dollars. Oh, oh okay. that's not as bad as I thought. I thought they'd be like three dollars each. A dill is a nice twist on the whole thing. Oh, it's yeah. You need Icing that. on the cake if it was a cake. Icing on it's the a pancake. Savory cake. And the salad. Let's try this. Yes. Wow. What's there not to like? It's there delicious. There it is. That's right. Loving it. I'm loving it. All right. All right. And Rose, we want to know are you enjoying your Look. zucchini cake? No words needed. <laughs> wow, she like. Is it tasty, Rose? Yeah? All right, we'll take that as a yes. Sweet P. McGee. <laughs> Look at that. That's sweet. Desi, good job on that. High five, you crush. High five. Woohoo! All right, dill is the deal. That's right, Bradley. Done. Zo, you guys. We're going to eat this while it's hot and delicious. That was fun. Uh, we'll be back Friday and Thursday, as usual, hanging out. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all those things. Tell your friends and family about Flav City, about Arthur T. Almasy. Not the first, not the second. The third. What are right. they supposed to be telling about me, though? That's Whatever they want. Okay. Good things or bad things. No filter, right? Uh, awesome time hanging out, y'all. Awesome time. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Cut. Bye.